Hey, welcome back to The Ride It Under, and today we start a new segment for consumer advice where we have a look at used cars, pre-owned vehicles actually, and we give you more insight on exactly what to look out for when you're buying pre-owned. So things such as your service, things such as your niches and glitches. So subscribe, like, and enjoy the content. So today we're out here at Car Connection in Beacon Bay, East London, and we're going to have a look at the 2018 VW Golf 7.5 TSI. The VW Golf 7 was introduced in 2012 with sales officially in 2013. It was marketed as a family hatchback and the big brother to the Polo. So it came in various forms as the five door and the three door hatchback, the S8 edition and van. So with over 10 engine variations, the most common were the 1.2, 1.4, and 2 liter turbo petrol engines, which are known as the TSIs. There was a 1.6 and 2 liter TDI engines. There was a 1.6 TDI Blue Motion, which was, at the time, woof, had an acclaimed 3.2 liters per 100 kilometers of fuel consumption, which is crazy. So for whatever you needed the Golf 7 for, you were definite to find an engine that would suit your needs. So whether you're in for fuel economy or the opposite end of the spectrum where you don't really mind, you will definitely find something for you. So here we have the 1.4 TSI variant of the 7 and it is turbo powered by a 4 cylinder 1.4 liter engine with an output of 92 kilowatts and an average fuel consumption of 5.2 liters per 100 kilometers. Which is pretty good for everyday usability considering exactly where the petrol prices are right now. So this is priced at 269,900. By using a finance calculator, we'll set you back at about 5,400. So for a car of this caliber, you expect good material in the cockpit, good build, and the 7.5 actually comes with a bigger infotainment system as compared to the 7, and everything looks simple, easy to use, and exactly where expected to be. There's ample storage space, there's cup holders, and also a compartment to hold your phone so it doesn't wobble around when you're going around corners. Because of the straight line roof design, the back has ample head and leg room, making it comfortable for passengers sitting in the back. The boot space is average for a car of this segment. You'll find a 12 volt socket in case you wanna plug in a vacuum, in case you wanna charge your phone, just for your small, small stuff. You'll find a tethering spot and also a bracket to hold things when you do pack them at the back. Over the years, golf has built a solid reputation. Well, <laughs> So, golf over the years has managed to build a good reputation of quality, but that doesn't mean that you're immune to the problems that could occur. That's why we emphasize on having a full service history and a full service check of the vehicles before you buy it. That way, you're sure to know exactly what could go wrong with a baby like this. Well, a lot of the previous owners will tell you that with the Golf 7, a lot of the issues they normally face is with the electronic park brake. They have issues with the auto stop start. Um, we also have leaking dampers. Um, we have sometimes headlight failure. If you're in South Africa, we currently do have a pandemic for headlights. They get chanchat. So <laughs> make sure you know where to park. Make sure, make sure for your automatic gearboxes, you have your DSG, which sometimes can be glitchy if you do play around with your vr pa pa pa. Um, if you also ask a lot of service centers and uh, dealerships, they'll tell you that a lot of the issues um, are mostly driver induced. So normally driving habits, uh, rough gear changes, you know, playing around with the DSG comes at a cost, comes at a price. And another important thing is lack of service. Make sure you get the car serviced. You know, so manufacturers will give you a recommended service interval, you know. So they say 60,000, 90, 120, 135, 150. Because they know, they know, man. Just go there, pay the money. Always do contact your nearest service provider uh, to find out exactly how much it would cost. I think a quotation should be free. 
unless you actually take in your car in for diagnostics then they will charge you for for that so what's the verdict hmm. a car like this is perfect for a daily driver it has good mileage for a tank good boot space quality build and it is practical so if you're looking for a good deal on a golf 7.5 1.4 tsi hit up car connection below below on the on the section below and you get a good deal on a car like this so see you guys next time comment like subscribe and let us know what other cars you'd like for us to review on our consumer advice